guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna show you how I do this twist out ponytail. Um, it's super duper cute. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you how I did it. Uh, I already washed and conditioned my hair. So I'm gonna show you guys what I used. This is what my hair is looking like coming out of my microfiber towel. So to shampoo my hair, I did use the Sunny Isle Extra Dark Jamaica Black Castor Oil Shampoo, which everything will be linked down below as well as reviews and stuff. And then this is the Ali K Naturals Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. I used that and then I oiled my scalp in the shower with the Essential 17 Oil from Ali K Naturals. And a video on their products will be coming soon, but now I'm just sectioning off my hair. So I sectioned it off into two parts and then, um, from each of those sections, I'm gonna split that in half. So I'll have four sections, and you guys will see why, why in just a second. I like to do my hair like this, just because it makes it so much easier when I'm putting my wet curly hair into a ponytail or a bun. So with my first section of hair, I'm going to spray it on down with some water, um, making sure you know it's nice, wet, and drenched. I like to work on wet hair, it just makes everything easier. And then I am going to go in and detangle it. And this is one of those like easy detangling brushes. I've done a review on a bunch of different detangling brushes, so I'll link those down below. But after that, I'm going to moisturize with the Camille Rose Honeycomb Curl Whip, which I also have a review for and I've used a numerous amount of time since I've gotten it. It's so good, you guys. It's thick, it's creamy, it's super moisturizing, and it smells so good. It smells just like caramel. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to apply a nice, generous amount of that so I can get my hair nice and moisturized and softened. And then um, once I work that on in, I am just going going to two strand twist it up and do the exact same steps to the rest of my hair. is moisturized from root to tip um, because you know if you try to do this just slapping it on to all of your hair and then trying to throw it into a ponytail you might not get it all completely you know moisturized so I just like to thoroughly do it this way and then I'm going to as you guys can see unravel my twist and I'm going to take each of those sections one by one and bring them up um, raking you know my fingers through and also kind of using the brush just so so I can get it all into one ponytail and I find that doing it this way is just so much easier at least for me since my hair is already moisturized it's already detangled and a bit stretched um, so yeah I'm just gonna fast forward so you guys can see that So now I am just going in with my detangling brush just to make sure it's obviously thoroughly detangled. I want a nice sleek ponytail um, so you guys can see me doing that and again like I said my hair was already detangled and moisturized so it was very very easy to do. Then I'm just going to make sure I'm breaking my detangling brush through the length of my hair as well and then i'm going to use my evolve brush just to brush my hair up and get rid of like those fr the frizz and flyaways and things and once i do that i am going to put my hair into a loose bun so that i can apply my gel i don't like to apply my gel until or unless my hair is like put away in a bun or something just so again i can make sure my hair is not curling up and getting thick in the middle So then the rest is um, 
just me adding that eco style olive oil gel using a nice generous amount putting it all all around my edges the back of my hair and then I'm gonna go back in with that evolve brush make sure it's nice sleek and then I will just put my hair into a high ponytail I did go ahead and do my edges off camera. I didn't do anything over the top, just really, really simple. So my edges, my baby hairs, whatever are laid down. And now this is what my ponytail's looking like, you guys. But we want it to be nice and defined. So that's the whole point of this video. I am going to take a section of hair uh, and this is gonna be for my first twist. We are going to twist up the ponytail. So for this, it already has been moisturized as you guys saw but I am just going to wet it on down one last time at a like a pea size of the uh, Camille Rose product and then I will just two strand twist it up we want to make sure you know it's nice and moisturized so it can get the best definition and I know some of you guys are like well I could just do this after I do a twist out I'm um, you can do it that way but I don't know, I just wanted to do it this way for some reason. I'm not sure. I felt like it would be a waste of time to just completely twist up my hair when I can just do this and it's already in the ponytail. And you know, I personally feel like it just saves some time. So I just went ahead and repeated the same steps. I only had six twists in this ponytail. It was really quick, you guys. And like I said, you honestly don't need to reapply any product. You could just add some extra water and that would reactivate it and twist. But I just wanted to make sure it was very moisturized. So I'm gonna fast forward through that and you guys will see the twist. I did sit underneath my hooded dryer and then I let the rest uh, dry overnight. So this is the next day. My twists were completely dry. But first, I'm gonna add a little bit of that oil to my hands. Just, y'all know, add some shine and also help reduce frizz. And then I am going to separate, or no, I'm going to unravel the twists. The definition looks really good from me just unraveling the twist, but now I'm going to separate uh, and make the curls just look nice, juicy, and fuller. I forgot to mention that you definitely can wear the ponytail with the twist for a day, two, however long you want, and then unravel. So this, just like a few of the styles I've done recently, can be a two-in-one style. So um, yeah, I'm separating my curls just doing the small pieces like i typically do twirling the ends around my fingers and then that's it i didn't do any extra fluffing or anything like that So this is the final style you guys and I thought this was so cute like you don't need to buy no cheap 
fake curly ponytail um you can just go ahead and do this yourself with your own hair very quick very easy um i love the definition it was so good someone said that it looked like i had a fake ponytail that's how like defined the curls were so let me know what you guys think about this style would you try it have you done it already you can easily turn this into a really cute bun as well so just so many ways you can wear this let me know what you guys think don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video